In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will take a look at system of coplanar forces, wherein we will learn the method to find the resultant of parallel force systems. Also, we will learn about couple and its properties. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Now, we will learn how to find the resultant of a parallel system of forces. A set of forces whose lines of action are parallel to each other form a parallel system. Hence, all the forces are parallel to each other as it is a parallel system. To find the resultant of a parallel force system, the following steps must be followed. We simply add them up using a suitable sign convention for the direction of the force that is resultant is equal to the summation of all the forces. To find the location of the resultant force, we use Wagner's theorem. The resultant is usually assumed to act either to the left or right of the reference point at a perpendicular distance d. In this case, we will assume it to be on the left from the reference point O. On applying Wagner's theorem and then simplifying, if a positive value of d is obtained, then assumption made earlier is true. If a negative value of d is obtained, then the resultant lies on the opposite side, that is to the right of point O. Now let's consider the following problem. A parallel force system acts on the lever. Determine the magnitude and position of the resultant. Firstly, we have to find the resultant of the entire system. This is done by simply adding up all the forces using the sign convention as downwards positive. The resultant is found to be 22 Newton acting downwards. Then, we have to find the location of resultant from point A. Let us assume that the resultant R is at a distance D to the right of point A. We will first find the summation of moments of all the forces about the point A. Now, by applying Wagner's theorem, we can find the value of D. On substituting the values and simplifying, we find D is equal to 6 meters. Hence, the resultant force of magnitude 22 Newton acts at a distance of 6 meters to the right of point A. Now, let's take a look at the following problem. The resultant of three parallel forces is 12.5 Newton acting at 3 meters to the right of point A. Compute the magnitude and position of the missing force. In this parallel system of forces, we know the magnitude and position of the resultant and we have to find the unknown force. We can find its magnitude directly by finding the summation of all the forces in the vertical direction. In order to find its exact location, we need to use the Varignan's theorem about point A. On substituting the values and simplifying, we find x is equal to Thus, we have found the unknown force to be equal to 37.5 Newton acting vertically downwards at a distance of to the right of point A. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Now let's learn what a couple is. A couple is a special case of parallel forces. A couple is a pair of forces equal in magnitude, oppositely directed and displaced by a perpendicular distance. It is a system of forces with a resultant moment, but no or zero resultant force. The effect of a couple is to rotate the body on which it acts. The figure shows two parallel forces of same magnitude f, separated by perpendicular distance d, together forming a couple. Moment of a couple can be calculated as the product of the magnitude of one of the forces and the distance between them. Rotation of a couple can be clockwise or anticlockwise. Units of couple are Newton meters. Let us now learn an important property of a couple. If we want to shift a force to a new parallel position, a couple must be added to the system. For example, as shown in the figure, a beam is connected to a column. A force F is acting on the beam at point A. In order to understand its effect on the column, we must shift it from its original position at point A to a new position at B, that is, on the centroidal axis of the column. This can be done by adding two collinear forces of same magnitude F and minus F at point B. The two parallel forces F at point A and minus F at point B form a couple. Thus, we have a single force F at point B and a couple M is equal to F into D 
in the system. Such a system is called a force couple system. Now, let's consider the following problem. Figure shows four parallel forces acting on a beam ABCD. Determine the resultant of the system and its location from A. Replace the system by a single force and couple acting at point B. Replace the system by a single force and couple acting at point D. This is a parallel system of four forces acting on the beam ABCD. Firstly, we have to find the resultant of the entire system. This is done by simply adding up all the forces using the sign convention as upwards positive. The resultant is found to be 130 Newton acting upwards. Then, we have to find the location of resultant from point A. Let us assume that the resultant R is at a distance D to the right of point A. Now, by applying Varignan's theorem, we can find this value of D. On calculating, we find D is equal to 3.85 meters. Hence, the resultant force of magnitude 130 Newton acts at a distance of 3.85 meters to the right of point A. Now, let's replace the entire system by a force couple system at point B. The single force acting at B would be the resultant that is 130 Newton. To find the couple at B, add up moments of all forces about point B with the sign convention as anti-clockwise positive. On calculating this, it is found to be 240 Newton meters in anti-clockwise sense. Thus, the force couple system at point B is defined by the force of 130 Newton, an anti-clockwise moment of 240 Newton meters. Now, we have to replace the entire system by a force couple system at point D. The single force acting at D would be rather resultant that is 130 Newton. To find the couple at D, add up moments of all forces about point D with the sign convention as anti-clockwise positive. On calculating, this is found to be 410 Newton meter in clockwise sense. Thus, the force couple system at point D is defined by the force of 130 Newton and a clockwise moment of 410 Newton meters. Let's have a quick review of what we've studied in this lecture. We learned how to find the resultant of a parallel system of forces. The following steps must be followed to find the resultant of parallel force system. Next, we learned about the concept of a couple. In simple words, it is a system of forces with a resultant moment but no or zero resultant force. The effect of a couple is to rotate the body on which it acts. Moment of a couple can be calculated as the product of the magnitude of one of the forces and the distance between them. Rotation of a couple can be clockwise or anti-clockwise. Units of a couple are Newton meters.